So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to make your association more energy efficient. So the first one's gonna be pretty obvious to most of you, but still to this day, I walk into condo or clubhouses and I see that the fixtures are not LEDs or more efficient light bulbs. So that would be the first one that I would recommend for community associations. For the larger associations, we always understand that cost is an issue. So you don't have to look at it as, oh, I have to replace all the light bulbs. You can replace them in phases so that way the initial cost for you isn't that much. Next, if your community association has a responsibility for the windows, if you're in a condo association, switching over to energy efficient windows. Obviously, you're gonna get much more benefit from the window being energy efficient, but you're also gonna get the benefit of it being a hurricane impact window. Now, don't look at me with that funny face. I do understand that they're very expensive. However, if you look at the potential cost that you're gonna save from insurance, as well as the cost that you're possibly gonna save from energy, or that homeowner will, I should say, then you know it may be a good decision for your community association. The next one is really just understanding your data and understanding what's going on with your air conditioning units. So I can't tell you how many times I've walked into, let's say, a potentially new association and the lobbies are freezing and the hallways are freezing in the middle of the night when there's no one there. So you wanna make sure that you start off with at least thermostats that are digital, that can provide you the data of what the temperatures are throughout the day. Some of these may even be able to tell you if there's movement within that area or not. Making those small adjustments of three or four or five degrees during the evenings or even during the day, because you may have it too high, you can see a significant amount of reduction in your energy costs for your particular association. If you're in an HOA, don't ignore this because in your clubhouse, you have a large area that needs to be covered. And in certain instances, certain areas are not being used during certain times because they're closed. In that case, you may wanna just put the AC around 78 degrees since no one's using that. Last but not least, you're gonna to wanna to look at the motors within your community association. Uh, you could talk to an electrician or a professional and they'll be able to advise you if there's a more efficient motor, like a variable speed motor that could be installed to reduce the potential consumption of that particular equipment. So these are just a couple things that your community association can do to try to reduce the expenses when it comes to energy. However, it's very important that you're staying on top of these and you're taking a look at these three or four little items. While they may seem minuscule, they can save your particular community association a significant amount of money if they haven't been monitored over the past couple of months or even years. So if you have any questions on how to save uh, energy within your community association, or you have any questions with regards of what steps you should take, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. It would be our pleasure to go to your property and do a quick assessment and see if there's anything that we could do or if there's anyone that we could recommend to assist you in the process. If you've liked this video, make sure to give us two thumbs up. Also make sure you hit that subscribe button as we have weekly videos coming out. I'll see you in our next video.